Hello. I'm Kay Bailey Hutchison, and I serve as the U.S. Ambassador to NATO. I want to tell you a little bit about recent actions by the United States regarding the Intermediate Range Nuclear Forces Treaty, the INF. For any arms control treaty to be effective, every party must abide by its terms. Unfortunately, as we have seen all too often, whether in Crimea, Syria, or elsewhere, the Russian government ignores international norms and agreements, resulting in death and destruction affecting thousands of innocent citizens. For over 30 years, the United States has strictly complied with all its obligations under the INF Treaty. While we abided by its terms, Russia developed and pursued a missile which cuts at the heart of the INF Treaty. For more than five years, we have worked diligently through intense diplomatic outreach to bring Russia back into compliance with that treaty. Democratic and Republican administrations alike have worked to keep this agreement alive. All NATO allies agree that Russia's violation is a material breach of the treaty and that the United States is in compliance with the treaty. Russia consistently refuses to acknowledge its violation and continues to push disinformation and false narratives regarding its illegal missile. When only one party respects an arms control treaty while the other side flouts it, it leaves one side vulnerable, no one safer, and discredits the very idea of arms control. I want to be clear. Russia's fielding of multiple battalions of an INF-prohibited missile represents a threat to NATO allies and to global security. For arms control to serve its purposes, all parties must comply. Violations must have consequences. Russia faces a choice. It can either keep its non-compliant missile system or it can have the INF Treaty, but it cannot have both.